Well, we have a lot to cover today, so I'll dive right in on the news of the day because I believe you're going to leave this and then go vote. So over the weekend, the House passed a national security package that provides funding for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, as well as humanitarian aid for Gaza and elsewhere. The House also passed a fourth bill that seizes Russian assets and would ban TikTok if it isn't sold by its Chinese parent. While the House passed the four parts separately, the bills are combined into one in the Senate. Right after this interview, I believe you will join your colleagues in the Senate to vote to move on the measure. Do you expect the bill to ultimately pass, and do you yourself have any reservations about voting for it? Well, Yasmin, as you said, uh, we will be voting on a motion to proceed uh, with this bill that came from the House. And as you said, in the United States Senate, all the components will be merged into one. So this will include the $60 billion uh, in military assistance to the people of Ukraine, along with the other elements you mentioned. So in my view, the need to get the people of Ukraine military assistance uh, is an absolute priority. I've said that all along. I said that when this supplemental bill was in the United States Senate. And if we were not to do that, um, it would it would undermine U.S. leadership around the world. Now, as to reservations, uh, I do have reservations because I've also said uh, that while I strongly support uh, sending I Israel defensive uh, weapon systems, Iron Dome and another other essential uh, systems for their defense, that when it comes to offensive weapon systems, uh, we should not be providing a blank check. We should be using our leverage effectively to achieve President Biden's stated goals of making sure we get more humanitarian aid into Gaza, making sure there's no invasion of Rafa. Uh, and so I have reservations uh, about this bill because those, those requirements are not embedded in it. I will say, I, I just a few minutes ago filed amendments uh, to the bill. Uh, one uh, very much along the lines that I, I just mentioned with respect to offensive uh, weapons uh, to the Netanyahu government, and also one uh, that would restore uh, U.S. support for UNRWA. 